here in the in this study we have three varieties. This is Tam One Laven grown under irrigated conditions. Tam One Laven grown under dry land conditions. One Twelve grown under irrigated. One Twelve grown under dry land. This is Tam Three Zero Four grown under irrigated and Tam Three Zero Four under dry land conditions. Uh, based on the breeder observation, uh, they found. Uh, Ten one eleven is very good at boots, uh, irrigated and dry land. Ten one twelve is much better under a prolonged dry condition such as two thousand eleven. And Ten three o four is very good under irrigated condition, but not in dry land. So those are breeders of the vision from the field. And the physiology, some physiological trees collected in the last few years also showed these three varieties uh, react different under water, uh, water limited condition. So we conduct this experiment in the greenhouse, try to understand how these three varieties respond to water uh, differently. Uh, with the different at different stage, and now we what we see the plants are at the harvesting stage. Uh, in the lab, we will also do the gene expression study. We already collect leaf tissue to understand what kind of gene uh, behind in these three variety to control uh, their different drought tolerance mechanism. We planted this study back in late November. We transplanted the seedlings after they were vandalized for six weeks. And since from November last week, the plants have grown until now, which is probably four months time. What we have here is we, are, we have three varieties. Two of them are drought tolerance drought tolerant varieties, one is drought susceptible variety. TAM 111, TAM 112, we want to understand what kind of drought adaptation mechanisms they follow in Texas high plains, maybe in the root or maybe in the shoot. So what we're trying to do in the lab is take out the leaf samples from here to a microarray study to identify the genes that are differentially expressed in response to water stress. We, we started this study with three different blocks. The blocks we used them to collect leaf samples to do the laboratory analysis. And we have one last block left in the experiment. We are going to use this block to look at the grain yield and harvest index under prolonged drought conditions and prolonged irrigated conditions. Uh, from this greenhouse experiment, uh, we already collect leaf tissue, uh, they will be processed in the lab. We will try to identify the gene uh, behind the control of the drought tolerant mechanism. At the same time, all these three varieties uh, are, are growing in the field, and we also collect uh, the year data, measure some physiology, like a canopy temperature, um, canopy reflectance, and other data. So at the end, we will combine the greenhouse data, uh, field data, and the lab data together to figure out what the difference uh, for the drought tolerant mechanism among these three varieties.